it's like my experience of life, I suppose, that, you know, there's really, really difficult things and really amazing things. And I've always been interested in plays and theatre that reflect that. It's magical. And that's the thing that makes it very special. I love The Winter's Tale because it starts in a very, very tragic way, then turns into comedy and then ends up as a beautiful romance. It all starts off in a family, a grand family in the city, and something goes wrong. The family seems to be really good, but Leontes, the king, suddenly gets very jealous of his wife and he thinks his child isn't his. And then it's what happens because of this mad and terrible jealous rage and how lives are ruined. So in our production of The Winter's Tale, Leontes is the CEO of a very powerful company, as in a kind of multinational type company. So he's a very wealthy, very powerful man who's in a position where he can abuse his power as Shakespeare's Leontes did, and indeed he does. And he pulls everything down around him. So in the first half of the play, we watch a, we watch a family implode, really. Hermione says to Leontes, my life stands in the level of your dreams, which I love, she's saying, my life hangs in the balance. Based on a misunderstanding or a moment of madness that her husband has, her life goes from being very happy, very comfortable, very blessed, to going to a very, very dark place indeed. We have some of the best Scottish actors around, in fact, some of the best actors around. And what I think we've got is lots of really strong personalities. And I always love that when I go to the theatre, that you see really strong, charismatic individuals who are really distinctive. And you get in there a company of really amazing actors, lots of whom you'll recognise from their work in theatre and television and film, um, all engaging and telling a story together. So there's a lot of personality and a lot of laughter and joy in the rehearsal rooms. It's quite hard to find the truth uh, behind Leontes' actions because they are so extreme. But I guess that's the challenge of the play. I've always wanted to play the part of Paulina. She's a fabulous character. She is hugely courageous, heart of a lion, and tells it like it is throughout the play. And Shakespeare does something really extraordinary in The Winter's Tale, that he carries on beyond winter, and I guess we all know that beyond winter, spring comes. And so in the second half of the play, we fast forward 16 years and we find ourselves no longer in the city, but we are in the countryside. And there suddenly, one of his children has miraculously survived this catastrophe of the first half and is growing up amongst the country people as a shepherdess. And suddenly there is an explosion of colour and joy and riotous music and laughter and dancing and romance. Which in our version is in Fife and is absolutely fabulous what they've done with it. It's just looking amazing. We're working with the wonderful composer and musician Ali McRae to create a live soundscape for The Winter's Tale that starts off in the first half extremely modern and dynamic and urban and then in the second half uh, when we move to the countryside is much more traditional and much more folk and much more live. There's more music in this play actually written by Shakespeare than any other of his texts and music is kind of the key to uh, saving the day. And when you do use some of the, the original Shakespeare, we've adapted it to fit into a very more modern style. With Winter's Tale, you're just asked to believe in magic. I think audiences can expect a story that's really gripping, easy to follow and engaging, something that's emotionally tense and full of drama, and then something that is full of, in the second half, something that's full of joy and love and life and romance. I think be prepared to be pulled and pushed emotionally all over the place and have a good laugh. Magical, moving, heartwarming. True love and music saves the day. <laughs>